Hello everyone, welcome to the Morwen Book Club. Last time we finished reading all of the bi biography of Baron Zaya. Uh, currently, we are... <laughs> I'm, I, I couldn't sleep, I'm exhausted. I woke up and I figured, well, I might as well do something with my time. So we're going to read... Nope, already read that one. The Eastern Provinces, dot, dot, dot. That's the ones we're going to... We're gonna go ahead and read, huh? I, I, I thought I was gonna read Darkest Darkness, but then I remembered that I had read it already. Alright, so the Eastern Provinces. The Eastern Provinces, impartially considered. And even if we overlook the dubious moral and legal justifications for hundreds of years of occupation of these two pro provinces, what economic or military benefits can we derive from Morrowind and Black Marsh? Indeed, a few beneficiaries of imperial monopolies in the provinces do profit from exploitation of their wealth and resources, but does the empire as a whole benefit? Hardly. The vast uh, machineries, ma machineries, machineries. I don't know why I started reading it like ma machineries when it's clearly yeah machin machi machineries. Ooh, m maybe it is too too early. Of the imperial bureaucracies cost far more to maintain than can be covered in duties and taxes. And the cost of establishing and maintaining the garrisons of the imperial legion in the far-flung wilderness posts of these provinces would be cost-effective only if there were evidence of a military threat from the east. But no such evidence exists. No our army of Morrowind or Black Marsh has ever threatened the security of any other Imperial province, let alone the security of Cyrodiil itself. In fact, a greater threat to Imperial security lies in the idle legions that the taxpayer spends thousands of drakes to support. The generals of these legions, facing no enemies or opposition within the borders of their provinces, may look with ambition to the west with their loyal veteran troops and coffers fattened by friendly monopolists. They become unpredictable political factors in the uncertainties surrounding the Imperial Secession. If the occupation of Morrowind and Black Marsh were motivated by idealistic aspirations, perhaps there might lie some justification for bearing the burden of Empire. But consider the shame of the Empire's mute acceptance to the unspeakable practice of slavery in Morrowind. Instead of using our imperial legions to free the wretched Khajiit and Argo Argonian slaves from their dark elf masters, we pay our troopers to protect the indefensible institution of slavery. Now, th th I'm sorry, I, I'm, mm, I need to look up something real quick. Give me a second. Okay. See, I wanted to go ahead and comment on, like, I was like, um, they, they seem to be against... Um, they seem to be against slavery, but yet they, they well, their, their racism is showing, uh, the, the author, I mean, like, um, because the way they, they refer to them as the wretched Khajiit and Ar uh, Argonian slaves. Uh, now, the word wretched, I, I, I recall that that can be taken two different ways. The first way refers to someone, to a person in a very, uh, you know, all right, but according to, like, dictionary definitions... Um, the, f the first one is, uh, like a person who's a in a very unhappy or unfortunate state, um, which, you know, is accurate. Um, you know, the Khajiit and Argonian slaves, you know, th that's a very wretched state. That's the, they're, they're, they're probably pretty unhappy. Um, but the second, the second definition the, the one that can, it can also be taken as, uh, is something of like a very poor quality or, or bad. Um, and so... This here, it's 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 one of those things where it's like I can't immediately say that the author is racist because uh, it depends on how the word is being used. Um, it, it based on the rant so far, I kind of feel like that maybe that's that's where they're going. So this was uh, I'm suspecting that this was written by an imperial, um, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Uh, some, some of the books in Morrowind tend to, they, they, they have this sort of like older English or they, they use words in a way that, um, you know, it's, it's accurate. Um, but you know, with our, our, we'll say modern sensibilities or our, our more current, um, ways of understanding words, uh, it can be taken a different way. So, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Anyways. 
Within the ebony mines of Morrowind, bloated monopolists under imperial charters exploit slave labor to harvest the outrageous profits assured by rampant graft and corruption. Consider the colossal arrogance of our proposition to bring peace and enlightenment to the East, when in fact we have only brought our armies into lands who have never threatened us. Threatened us. Threatened us. And when we have only exploited the most shameful and evil practices we have found in Morwen and Black Marsh simply to enrich the friends and f flatterers of the Imperial family. Impartially considered, our occupation of the eastern provinces is morally corrupt, militarily indefensible, and economically ruinous. The only conclusion is that we should disband the eastern legions, withdraw the imperial bureaucracies and monopolists from the east, and give these ancient lands and peoples their freedom. Only by doing so may we hope to pr uh, preserve the fragile ideals and fortunes of western culture. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm like, this, um, this book's kind of got a very, um, a theme to it that I find uncomfortably similar to some online discourse, but you know, I'm, we're not going to get into that because that's the Mormon book club. We're done. We're reading. Uh, and, uh, we, we read somebody's, uh, so, uh, someone's opinion on Tamriel and I'm not uh, I'm not too sure who it was I don't know who the author was um if you liked the book uh or if you liked the reading of the book uh yeah you can give the book you can give it a thumbs up but if you disliked it you hated this thing you're like holy crap this book's a piece of trash go ahead and give the video a big thumbs down dislike unsubscribed make sure to tick off that bell I don't want to see you anymore uh I'm kidding of course uh, either way Leave your opinion, your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, and um, until next time, I'd like to ask you all to game on.